Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on diverse aspects such as select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries and, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called Top Travelers and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 8th video of the series called Top Travelers and if I look at the companies this question has been asked in. So Point 72. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called users with two different columns, ID and name. ID is the column with unique values for this table. Name is the name of the user. We are also given a second table called rights with three different columns, ID, user ID and distance. ID is the column with unique values for this table. User ID is the ID of the user who traveled the distance. distance. We are asked to write a solution to report the distance traveled by each user. Return the result table order by travel distance in descending order. If two or more users travel the same distance, order by their name in ascending order. Okay, let's look at this example. So here we have multiple users and their rights. So what we need to basically do is we perform a join of users table because it says the question says for every user we need to calculate the total distance. So what we can do is we can perform a outer join because we have learned in our previous videos in this series as well as the SQL 50 series that whenever the language of the question is that keep everything from a one table and you know have something else to be done using another table so it's best to do a outer join in this case we can use the left outer join right so here we can uh, perform a join on id column of users table and user id column of the rights table and we will get that okay these are the distances covered by each of the users and then we can group by the id the name and sum the distance part and that is what we have in our output and we can you know arrange them in descending order also another thing that to note here from this output is that for donald it says zero so donald is id4 and if you look at id4 there is nothing so actually if you perform a join it is going to return you null so we also need to use the if null function that if something comes out to be null at the end then you need to replace it with zero okay let's try and you know write the query for this so what we need to do is from this table called users because we need it for every user alias this has you left outer join or we should call it left join the right table alias as r on u dot id is equal to r dot user id and let me you know keep the columns all the columns from the users table u dot star but we are only interested in the distance part from the right, right table because that is what we need the total distance covered by each of the users so let me keep only that column and uh, let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay let me drag it above so here we have for each of the users multiple distances that were covered by the person that for example if you to take lee right so if you group by the use id so for Lee, if you sum this part, so that is going to give you the total distance traveled by Lee. Similarly for El Elvis and all the, all the people. So what we need to do is now we can go ahead because for every user, it says the total distance. So we can group by the ID and then the name. Why? Because it says in this column, in this table, that ID is the column with unique value. So if you directly, because in your output, you need the name, you do not need the ID. But just think about this. If you directly go ahead with grouping by name, it is possible that person with the same name can have different ID, right? So there could be multiple people with the same name. So if you directly go ahead and group by the name, that is going to give you an error. So what we need to do is we need to group by u dot id because these two columns are coming from the users table so u dot id and then do u dot name because we need u dot name in our output and we need to use this r dot distance to sum this up so sum the entire thing and then if you know yeah, you are summing this up so let me you know just go ahead and further this is what we need as traveled distance so let me just copy this and let's alias this as so as traveled distance and let me go ahead and also we need to order this by travel distance in dis decreasing manner so if i go ahead and write order by traveled distance in descending manner and in case there is a tie then by name so u dot name in 
ascending order let me go ahead and run this and still not complete yet but let's you know try to go step by step so here if i look at our output so here we can see that for daniel it's null right but in our output we need it zero right so what we need to do is we need to basically do that okay if you after you sum this distance and it comes out to be null then you can use the function if null this in comes out to be a null then replace it by something and here we need to replace it by zero okay i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah, this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it it was basically performing a outer join and then we use the left outer join here because for every user we need to reach out to the rides table to get the total rides and the distance covered in each of those rides and then we group by the id and the name and we learned why do we do that even though we do not need the id in our output so that our groups are correct and then we sum the distance part and also use the if null function that we have learned already that if the entire thing comes out to be null you replace it by zero and then we ordered by travel distance in decreasing manner and in case of a tie by name in ascending order so this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video